about my bike? I'm not gonna just leave it there, are you? You know, I think I'll take it for a ride. Don't do that. Don't ride. What is this, uh, Heritage Softail? An 80 incher? I always wanted to ride one of these. Hey, Coop. This guy giving you any trouble? I don't know. He took one in the shoulder. He is in the hospital now. So, tell me what you need. Monk, I don't know what I need. I'm barely holding it together. No, you're doing great. He'd be proud of you. So, what what happened? Okay. Okay, we're shaking down a biker. Lieutenant Cooper's over here by the bike. The captain and I drive up. We get out of the car. Bam, eight shots. Eight shots. Uh, nine, I don't know, Monk. From, from where? One of these windows, maybe. I mean, maybe that one. I was behind the car. I didn't see anything. Yeah. No, 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 no. No, no, no. It wasn't from up there. No, no. It was, uh, it was from ground level. It's from the street. Maybe, maybe from a car. Who got here first? Hensley and Salvatore. Hensley! Sal! Sir. Yes, sir. Hensley, tell him what you just told me. We were four blocks away. It was a suicide over on Benton Avenue. A woman went belly flopping off a balcony in a bathroom. We went for the corner when the call came in. I dropped it, I think, and came running. Okay, the, the, the shooter might have been in a car. Did you see anything? As we were driving up, we did see a guy making a U-turn. What, what kind of car? Midsize. Color, color, color. It, it might have been blue. He was two blocks up on Fulton. He turned around and headed back this way. Yeah, see, it could have been a bystander or a witness, Monk. No, 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 no. This guy drove back toward the shots, not away from the shots. Did you get a look at him? I think he may have made a left turn up here. Okay. Away from the highway. What's down there? Reservoir. Water. You dumped the gun. Dumped the gun. Give me a team of divers. I need a team of divers down to the reservoir. Meet me there. Now. Go. I heard about Marlene. It's tough. Well, I guess she won't be asking for her share. It'll make the math a lot easier. How can you joke about it? It's your own wife. Ex-wife. She's probably happier. Wherever she is. Well, I'm gonna miss her. Especially on Friday. She was the driver. You can drive. It's easy. Drive fast. If we're being followed, drive faster. What about the second guard? Leave him to me. Relax. The plan is rock solid. Even with two people, me and Marlene pulled off the same thing in Cincinnati without any help. As long as nobody gets hurt. You understand I'm shooting the second guard. I'm gonna kill him. Yeah, yeah I mean, as, as long as we don't get hurt. I'm gonna need another gun. Well, what happened to your piece? I had to dump it. Do you have a copy of the suicide note? The pain is too much. I'm so sorry. The pain is too much. I'm so sorry. Oh. Sharon. What? Where's the pen? What pen? This note was written with a red pen. I don't see a red pen in here, do you? No. I mean, the letter was written over here, but there's no red pen. No red pen. And there wasn't one on her body when she jumped. Somebody else wrote that note.
Uh, get a wipe ready. What is it? It's the first suicide note. The real one. Two years ago, in Cincinnati, I helped my husband stage an armored car robbery. Oh, my God. Officer! Officer! Listen, I want you to call the captain and tell him that there's an armed robbery in progress at the Mountain View Industrial Park. You understand? Come on, it's two miles away. Let's go. Let's go. You are the new you. Blinker, 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 blinker. Hear that? He says, welcome back. Kill him in. Yeah, Captain. Yes, it was Lester Highsmith. He's definitely the guy. Dog, dog. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right, we found his ex-wife's suicide note. The real one. That's what this whole thing has been about. Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. Ah, look out. Yeah, Lester and Marlene. Ah. Lester and Marlene pulled an armored charge off two years ago. Right, and they were planning another one. But Marlene was racked by guilt. She couldn't go through it again. She spilled her guts out in that suicide note. You missed it. You, what are you... Whoa. Listen to this. Two years ago, in Cincinnati, I helped my husband stage an armored car robbery. We killed the driver. And now he wants us to do it again, Friday, 10 a.m. at the Mountain View Industrial Park. I'd rather die. May God forgive me. Before Marlene killed herself, she called Lester and left him a message. She must have mentioned the note she had just written. Lester knew that note could send him to death row. So he had to recover it before we found it. Listen to this. That was a red light. He got to her building, but he was too late. Some cops had already shown up. He couldn't go inside. He had to stop them from finding that note. He needed a, 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 a diversion, something serious enough to draw the cops away from her building. But what? Shooting me. Exactly. He drove a few blocks and shot the first cop he saw. He knew every officer in the city would respond, including the two cops that were outside Marlene's building, which meant he had plenty of time to go back to her place, destroy the real suicide note, and replace it with one of his own. A stop sign is not a suggestion. Yes, it is. Sorry, Kelly, nothing personal. Lester! Drop the gun. Drop it. Drop it. You. Is that a water pistol? No. Maybe. It's hot water. Scalding. Scalding hot water. Just drop it. Drop, drop, get down, 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 get it's all right, Randy. He's got at least 50 years to think of something. It's jungle out there. Disorder and confusion everywhere. No one seems to care. Well, I do. Hey, who's in charge here? It's jungle out there.